Hello, this is Pastor Jay with Walk the Truth Radio Podcast with your encouraging word challenge for today. We have one more day until 2020, and I want to challenge you with this question. What are you willing to die for? And what are you willing to live for? What lines have you established in your life that you will not cross? And what boundaries will you go beyond? to have a better tomorrow you answer those questions and I guarantee you you will have peace in your life no I didn't say money fame or happiness I said peace as I studied the Bible and Jesus said my peace I live with you And he's standing on the fact that he could leave a peace with you because he's overcome the world or the times that they were living in. So what was he willing to die for? And what was he willing to live for? What boundaries was he willing to go beyond so that he can have and give perfect peace? In 2020, fearless focus, 2020 vision, foresight, hindsight, and as you're going through, you decide, write it down, do the stick man, and see where God wants you to be in 2020. There's so much we miss because we're not living in perfect peace not the peace that Jesus left us. So remember this as you go into 2020. Seek him for the perfect peace and everything else will fall into place as it's supposed to. It doesn't mean that you're not going to have challenges, but in the challenge, the war, the fight, there's a perfect peace to be obtained and it's only through understanding that he left you and me a perfect peace because he's overcome the world. This is Pastor Jay with Walking Truth Radio Podcast. I always want you to be encouraged, be blessed, and be at peace. And remember to walk in truth. Revive me according to your loving kindness, so that I may keep the testimony of your mouth. Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You establish the earth and it abides. They continue this day according to your ordinance, for all are your servants. Unless your law had been Unless your law had been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have given me life. I am yours. Save me. Amen. Amen. And so, you all know what I've been going through for the, I guess, the last four or five months, and God has truly, His Word has been my joy, and His Holy Spirit has ministered to me and helped me to keep my faith and my sanity, and more than anything, my trust in God has grown, has grown tremendously because now I realize that 
truly, without him, I am nothing. Without the power and his love and his provision and his delivering and his healing power, his wisdom, everything that he has given me through my belief and my acceptance of him. He's put down on the inside of me. And I'm just here to tell you all, it's inside of you. Yes. His power, he has shared his power with each and every one of us. And what he wants us to do <clears throat> is allow it to manifest, to come, to well up, to spread up, and get planted in our heart. Because what's in your heart will be in your mind. Mm. And then it will reflect into your words and your daily life. And <clears throat> he showed me all these wonderful things. He had to lay me down and, and remove me and just get me in a, a, a quiet place where it could just be him and I. And I love God for that. I love him because he loved me that much. You know, we are just very headstrong beings, strong will beings, but he created us that way. But when he has a mission for you, he's going, that, that mission is going to be fulfilled in you. And God is going to do whatever it takes to get your attention so that you can be prepared, so he can prepare you for that task. Because we all have a purpose in Christ. We were born into this world for a purpose. None of us are here by accident. None of us are right here in this room together by accident. No. God has placed us together to help one another, to build one another. And that's what brings me to my other point. We all should be on one accord with our uh, the songs that he was playing with uh, every phrase to our God, every word of worship with one accord. I am, and when I go into 2020 this year, I am striving mm. to be on one accord with the people of God that he has put in the ministry, put us together. Yes. I mean, you know, we're all a family in the body, but I'm talking about this particular ministry. We are to be on one accord. Yes. We are to start praying together. Yeah. Talking to one another because yeah. that's where the power source comes. Come on, come on, come on, come on man. Coming together, being on one accord. Come on. Putting all that mess behind us, whatever our differences is, praise God for it. Because it's your difference. The difference in you is going to help me. The difference in me is going to help you. Let's start accepting each other for our difference. Come on. Instead of, you know, <clears throat> getting on the phone and criticizing and talking about one another and all that. And I mean, that's human nature. Unfortunately, we are all, you know, these type of people that flaw. That's the word. We are all flawed beings. But we have power. We have the power of Christ to overcome every, all these adverse things of this world. And that's what the Bible says. How are they going to know? How are they going to know we differ from the world? How are they going to know? By the love that we share between one another. Yes. And I know it's love in this body. Yes, but we're going to get on one accord. Okay. Amen. 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 And the last thing I'm saying is release, relax, remove, repent. <laughs> Rely solely on God to restore 2020. Because that's the year God is revealing his restoration. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Who's next? 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 Without natural eyes. Come on. You hear what I say? We can't even see it with our natural eyes. He's so good. But you should feel it in the inside. Amen. Right. Yeah.
God has been so good to me. Yeah, I know I've done this scripture before, but this scripture means a lot to me because we get ready to go into a new year. Yeah. We get ready to go in a brand new year. And you best to believe that what you went through this year, it might be a little, it, it's going to be a lot different next year. But I'm here to tell you that as we grow, you're still going to go through this, what I'm about to read. Because in order for God to purify us and make us great in him, we have to go through something. So I'm going to read the scripture. Y'all don't have to stand if you don't want to. I, don't, I always try to stand for the word of God, but just listen. And I'll be coming to you from the book of 2 Corinthians um, chapter 4, starting at verse 7. And it says, but we have the treasures and jars of clay to show that this all-suppressing power is from God and not from us. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. Amen? Amen. So, see, I read that because, you know, we all, well, I'm going to use me. I ain't going to say y'all, but I know y'all go through the same thing I go through because God is renewing everybody in this place. And in order to be renewed, you got to go through something. Now, I, you know, I've been going through a lot of stuff, but God opened up something in me and he just... He just said that it's all right. Come on. It's all right. You know, you've done all you can do. Now you move out the way and let me do what I do. Okay. So that's what I start doing because sometimes we be like, I move out the way and let God do what he and let God do what he gotta do. But we got, I always find myself stepping back in when the past started getting a little right. Come on. Because now I can take it. But now I, I, I gotta I gotta get this thing deep down inside of me is that you can't do it without him, Kay. You can't do it without him. Follow him, not him following you. See, we got to follow Christ. And when we follow Christ, things get a little easier. We, we'll be able to stand in anything that we go through. The, what the scripture says that he said. We are hard pressed on every side. Oh yes, I feel like I'm in between a trash compactor sometimes. Come on, being squished, you know. But I say, but God, see, God can bring us through everything because His light is inside of us. His spirit is inside of us. And in order for us to realize that we have the spirit inside of us, we have to be crushed and pressed and all this to be shaped into what He wants, not what we want. And the scripture says, uh, perplexed, but not in despair. See, well, you, you sometimes you think you're losing your mind. But he said, don't, don't despair. Don't get, don't get, don't worry. I got you. Just keep your focus on me. And see, we have the tendency to take our eyes off him. Well, Kay, you have the tendency to take your eyes off him. But he said, don't despair. Don't worry, I got your daughter. And the same with you all, he got you. So as we go into 2020, just remember that God is on your side. Yeah. Move out the way and let him direct your path. Because he said, your path is crooked, but mine is straight. So in order for you to stay on the straight path, you got to move out the way. Yeah. You got to thank him for the good, the bad, and the ugly. I don't know about y'all today, but I'm just thanking him for everything that I'm doing. I said, I don't know about y'all today, but I'm thanking him for everything that he's letting me, allowing me to go through. Because you know what? If, if he didn't allow it, then I'll be still walking the same way. And I don't want to walk the same way. I want to go in 2020 blessed to impress. I want to go into 2020 allowing God to bring whatever he wants to come my way. I want to allow God to, to grow me. I want to allow God to move those things out of the way so I can see him. See, sometimes you got to let things go that you don't want to let go. And see, right now I'm at the point I got to let it go. 
Because I don't want anything hindering what God has for me. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but don't let nothing. Yes. I don't care how good it look. Oh, I don't care what they do. I don't care what they give you. Ain't there's no greater gift than Jesus Christ. Yeah. And if you ain't got that in your pocket, you need to get your visa back. <laughs> I tell you one thing that God is better than a visa and a master card. Amen. Because he can, you don't have to charge. <laughs> Me and our resident took the charge. I tell you one thing, God is so good. I'm, I'm, I'm going to back up off this thing because, you know, I feel so good inside right now. And I'm, I'm glad Pastor allows me to get up here and, and not only lift myself up, but try to and lift you guys up too. Because, you know, the Jesus in me is so good. Yeah. Woo! He's so good to me, y'all. He's so good. Come on, Pat. He's so good. Yes, I don't yes, know. He is. He's so good. Yes, he is. And y'all need to realize how good he is. Uh -huh. He's so good. Come on, Kay. Woo, he's a blessing. Come on, Kay. Come on, Kay. Oh, he's good. Come on, Kay. Oh, my God. He's Let's just that good. Come on. Hallelujah. Y'all know that. I don't know about y'all, but I said, we're going to praise him today. Come on, Kay. We're going to praise him in the midst of the storm. We're going to praise him in the midst of that mountain. We're going to praise him, y'all. Because that's what he wants us to do. He wants us to lift up his name. Hallelujah. Woo. You ready, Kay? Hello, this is Pastor Jay with Walk of Truth Radio Podcast, and I want to invite all those within the St. Louis metropolitan area and around the world to come worship with us every Sunday at 8 a.m. at the Universal Church of Jesus Christ Building, located at 2301 Wallace Avenue, Overland, Missouri, 63114. We also have our Rescue Addiction Recovery Program on Mondays from 7 p.m. until 8 p.m. Our Bible studies are held every Tuesday at 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. You can also catch us, follow us, and subscribe to us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Please come out and join us, follow us, follow our podcast, but most of all, Get saved, sanctified, and full of the Holy Ghost. And always remember, walk in truth. And if you'd like to contact me by email, you can do so by going to walkintruthministries at yahoo.com or w-i-t-m-i-n at yahoo.com. Thank you and bless you. And we look forward to worshiping and fellowshipping with you. Peace.